Hi, I'm Rosanna, the artist and designer behind Mawara Crochet. And this year, even though it's a bit of a late start, I'm going to be making a few changes to Mawara Crochet in regards to patterns, free patterns, and also YouTube. So last year, many of you know that I started um, a vlog in which I showed you clips of crochet and my life in Brazil and also bits around our cottage. And it was really, really labor intensive to make those videos. And I loved it. I really did. But it doesn't pay for the work I invest in the videos for what it's taking away from my designs. So this year I decided to change it more into a craft vlog in which I will share with you and sit like this and have a cup of tea with you and share with you what I've been working on the last month, whether it be crochet or another craft. Um, so a little bit about the free patterns. This year I've decided to take a bit of a step back from giving out a free pattern every month. Um, I really enjoy doing it. I think it's very valuable and very important to share things, but it's taking too much work away from other things that I should be doing, such as I have about eight new designs, which I wanted to release last year and it just didn't happen because I was too focused in creating the video vlogs and creating the free patterns that I didn't have time to work on the things that I really needed to. So this year there will be some free patterns, but it won't be every month. Um, but I think I've created quite a big stock now that you can have a huge collection of free flowers and some free, um, other crochet patterns, crochet conscious, such as the crochet um, market bag and a few other things. So I will be taking a step back, but bear with me, there will be some free patterns. Also another huge project, which just seems to never get finished and has been in the process for two years now, is to finally finish my crochet shop on my own website. So although January has been very quiet for me, um, I have been working in the background on trying to create my own web shop as the fees on other platforms are getting so high for me and I have to do a conversion rate to get into Brazil and I'm losing a lot of money. So fingers crossed, that is the first thing I need to finish and I'm, I'm getting there, but it's, it's slow work, but it will be done soon. Here are all the projects I have been working on the last months. So I'm gonna go through with them one by one and share with you what I've been doing and the yarns I've been using and if they're gonna be new up and coming patterns. And let's get started. Okay, here is the first one and this is made from alpaca and silk yarn by Malabrigo. And it was inspired by Moroccan tiles that I saw on our holiday just before the pandemic. And I absolutely love this repeating effect of tiles. So I created a scarf. And this is made with the similar tiles that I released last year but this time it's got a border and this was a labor of love in this scarf alone i think there are over 200 motifs <laughs> um which were made with a teeny tiny two millimeter needle with two millimeter crochet hook and it was one of those projects that you can just mindlessly do while you're watching netflix and one of the things I learned most over the last few years is to stop with the quick projects because I wasn't getting satisfaction from that. Um, I wanted to create projects which would be a piece I would love forever. A piece I would call heirloom crochet 
which I could pass down to my daughter or pass down to somebody else who loved it. Um, and the main aim was to create something like a huge puzzle in which I could just switch off and just work through the process, enjoy the whole process from start to beginning. And this scarf was a long progress. Um, it took me about three months to get 80% done. And then that last 20% got shoved in a box and I got to January and decided I need to finish my unfinished projects before I start any other projects. Um, because I just felt like too many things were unfinished. So my aim this year was, is and was <laughs> to finish as many unfinished projects. So I gave myself two weeks to finish and I absolutely loved the result. And this scarf is the lightest thing in the world. It's so light and so, so soft. It's made from it's made from alpaca and silk so it is eczema friendly sensitive skin friendly there is no lanolin there is no scratching and it is super light but also really really warm so i know when i get to winter in brazil i have a thin base layer i can put on underneath a jumper or on top of um my coat and I will be as snug as a bug. Um, so I absolutely love this pattern and I hope you like it too because I've decided to create this into a crochet pattern but not with 200 motifs. I've decided to increase the size and create a snood which is what I've been working on here. So I use this idea and this pattern and I've transferred it into a much, much bigger yarn. I have never, ever used yarn this thick in my life. But when I saw the yarn in Novelleria in Sao Paulo, I fell in love with it. Um, and this is another yarn from Malabrigo and it's one of, I think, I think it's the chunky, chunky um, merino. And one of the things I've found out the older I get is my skin is not so sensitive to merino. I, um, I think because it's quite soft, it's not so, so raw like some of the new yarns that I, I'm finding that I can actually wear this against my skin. Sometimes I do need to put a little base layer underneath just to protect if it is starting to itch. But in general, I'm finding it's okay. So here is the pattern, much blown up. <laughs> and this is half made and half written up at the moment. So my aim in the like next week is to finish this pattern. And this will be a little snood, which you can pop on and it's actually quite thick. So it will keep you really, really warm. So watch this space and hopefully next month I can tell you that this pattern is out for testing. Um, yeah, so those are the two patterns that I've been working on. So another project nearly finished from 2022. So this year I am trying to slow down and the only way I can do this is by not doing something crochet related because one stitch leads to another, it leads to a design. So I switched to trying knitting and this was a new thing for me last year. I set myself a goal to knit a new pair of socks every month and I did quite well. I managed to make eight or nine pairs of socks, which I think is brilliant considering I am terrible at knitting. <laughs> um, so um, while me and Annelise were on holiday because it's been the summer holidays, we found a, um, a profile on Instagram and her name was Indiana Rose 
and she makes the most adorable <laughs> videos of a little tiny crochet, uh, no, a little tiny knitted frog with this little cute jumper. Um, and she made these really, really cute videos and my daughter absolutely fell in love with these videos. So me being crafty, me being mum, had to find out what the pattern was. So I found it was a pattern from Dot Pebble. Mm, I'll put a link down below for both of these people. And I bought her pattern and decided to make a knitted frog. And I can't actually find this at the moment as Pod is at school and hence me making this video and um she's playing with it she loves it she sleeps with it every single night and i'm not sure where she's put it right now but when she gets home i will do a little video of this really really cute frog and it was a really good experience for me to try something other than socks um and i spent a week making this tiny little frog for her in a new technique and I learned some new skills, some new knitting, knitting stitches. And I did a little test, tiny, tiny little jumper for the frog, <laughs> which hopefully will help me with one of my big, big goals this year, which is to knit my own jumper. So I'm currently waiting for some of my supplies to come from England, which should arrive in a week or two when my godmother comes over. Um, and then the end of March, I'm going to start my big, big aim is to knit my own jumper. So I will be giving you updates on that and showing you the yarn I bought and the needles and so on and so forth. So going back to the knitted socks, I told you I didn't finish. I got to nine and I'd already bought the 12 balls of yarn for the year. Um, some of them I bought from Loops of London when I visited last year. So in January, I decided I need to finish my aim. And last year I bought this really amazing book called 52 Weeks of Socks and decided to push my skills to the next level and try a new design which I never done something which would push my skills a little bit complicated um, I had to frog my socks three times <laughs> before starting but you learn from your mistakes and that's what makes you get better so I have the patience to whip it back and start again so this is the sock I decided to do um, it's called stone it's number 23 and I have using this gorgeous gorgeous um, ochre yarn um, this is my new absolute favorite favorite color in the world um, being of a yellow complexion um, with being a bit oriental I have never ever worn yellow um, but last year I decided to try it but more a mustardy earthy yellow and I've fallen in love and I've been buying a few pieces in this color for my wardrobe and when I saw this yarn in um, Loops of London I literally grabbed it off the shelf because <laughs> there was only one left um, so this yarn is absolutely gorgeous and I'll leave a link down below if you're interested in this yarn although I'm not sure if they have any left but the designer who dyes these yarns they do um, okay so this is my little sock so far here um, that's as far as I've got the pattern is really complicated for me. I have to count every single stitch, um, which is time consuming, but it's starting to come together really nicely. I am guessing these socks are gonna take me about three months to 
to make because it's not a mindless knit for me but I'm really enjoying the process and pushing my skills to the next level and I'm not in a rush for socks right now we're in summer um, you may be able to hear a thunderstorm about to start this is quite normal in the afternoons um, so this is going to be my fallback project when I finish all my projects from last year can you hear the thunder so that leads me to my last project that I want to share with you today which is this this is a lace cardigan um, now I actually made um, another version of this in cream you may have seen it in photos on Instagram um, and it was actually inspired by a photo I'd seen on Pinterest years ago and I saved it and now my crochet is much better I thought I can do that but this is a serious serious huge project um, you know something like this takes me six months um, and one of the big mistakes was doing it in a dark yarn I love that it's navy blue but crocheting at night with dark yarn is tiring seriously tiring because I have low lamps on so the room is dark I don't want to have the big light on we're watching TV so I have to really concentrate with my eyes in the dark against dark so if you want a mindless project to do while you're watching TV never ever ever use dark yarn <laughs> okay this is from experience okay so like I said, this project was inspired by an image I saw on Pinterest years ago and also from Lady Grantham's lace coat. <laughs> um, I don't know if that's in season one or season two at Downton, but she wears this amazing lace coat. And I know it's not crochet, I know it's not lace, I know it is Irish lace and it's much more complicated. But the thought of having a beautiful lace coat which I could wear and every time I wear the, my other lace coat people go wow where did you buy that and I say no I made it and I know that this is something I can give to my daughter in the future and it will last for decades um, especially because I triple knotted everything so let me give you a quick show so here it is so far there are lots and lots of motifs um, i have done the arms and the main body so far and what i've got left now to finish is the trim all around and maybe i'm going to add some motifs similar to my other one um, which i'll put in a video to show you how they both look um so my aim by hopefully the next video is to have this finished and for this project i have used this tiny tiny thin 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 thing can you even see that on the camera there we go this is one of the finest lace yarns i have used and it is so satisfying when you put that last motif in and it just completes. Um, so this yarn is a Brazilian yarn. It is a circular yarn. Um, the name is Queen, and I've used the Azul Marinho, which is navy blue. And I've used a Tulip 1.75 hook. So, and this coat so far has taken five of these, and each one of these balls is 678 meters so we're looking well over 3,000 meters here but it's completely worth it um, and I know I'm gonna love this coat for years and years <laughs> so we've come to the end of the video and I've shown you all of my projects I've been working on and what I finished 
Um, I hope you enjoy this new style of um, vlog, more of me talking to you and going on about the day and day things that I'm doing with crochet. And I really look forward to making the next video and showing you the progress on my lace coat and maybe one or two new projects which I should finish. So I wish you a wonderful day, evening, morning, weekend, wherever you are in the world. And I'll see you in the next vlog. Bye.